Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am here today with a Dollar Tree haul and today is one of those hauls that I'm so excited about. It came directly from the trunk of my car right here to the haul because I'm so excited to share it. I had to run to Dollar Tree because the kids needed toothbrushes and toothpaste. Uh, my, we, my husband and I are redoing our bathroom upstairs and everything was gross and he you know, just said, hey, hey, everything's gross, can I just toss it? And I unthinkingly said, yeah, just toss it, it's all gross. And without really thinking, that meant that they had some brand new toothpaste and I think some decent toothbrushes, but he didn't sort through anything, he just tossed it. And it was all gross, so I'll, I'll give him that. But I didn't have replacements on hand for them to have tooth, toothbrushes and toothpaste, so I ran to the store to get that, like that was the primary goal. Of course, I looked through the store to see what else I can find, and about $70 later, here we are with my Dollar Tree haul of a bunch of wish list items and awesome stuff that I found while going through the aisles. So, with all that, let me go ahead and get started and show you the awesome things that I found. So we're just going straight out of the bag today. So, so first, let's, let's go with some toothbrushes. I grabbed these for Eric. They're just the Camel Plackers Soft kids ones. I will say their variety of kids toothbrushes were terrible. Like I couldn't really find any. I have two that still use like, you know, the younger age toothbrushes and one that uses an adult toothbrush. So it was just not a good find on toothbrushes, but I got these, these camo ones for Eric. Braxton, my oldest, he uses the adult toothbrushes. He likes these. They fold into themselves and he just likes that. Like it's something that he's been digging. So I grabbed him one of those. And then for now for Lorelei, I grabbed her this pink just adult toothbrush. She's turning nine this summer. She could probably handle an adult toothbrush, but I'll keep looking. I'll find her something that she prefers and likes more, but I grabbed that pink one for her. The toothpaste isn't in here, but I got the doggies some treats. They like these little bones. I think that they're just cute and adorable. They're made in the USA. It says vet recommended. They're the dog treats poppers. I think now they're starting to come in the bags versus these little boxes. And I like these little boxes, so I pick them up whenever I see them. So just those doggy bones for the pups. My last haul, my last haul, I showed the vinyl. I was really excited to find. This store only had two. It had a green and a yellow in permanent. And since I picked up the yellow last time, I already have a roll of it. So I grabbed the green one to add to my collection. So I'm really excited. I need the red permanent. I had it in my hand and I thought I had it already, but it was the removable. So now I'm getting, I'm, I'm looking for that. I grabbed some more nails. Like I had mentioned, I'm going to Florida. I'm considering doing glue-ons versus getting my nails done. I cut my nails all really short, so shellac wouldn't work. I'd have to do something with tips or whatever, but so I grabbed these in case. I did change my nails finally, and it wasn't because the ones were falling off. Like they were actually still holding on and doing really well, but I wanted to try the Sassy, Sassy, Sassy and Chic brand. So I didn't ever haul these because I picked them up and then I just glued them on my nails. I don't know if you could tell, they got kind of like a peaky peach tip with like a gold slash kind of across it. And so they've been on now for about a day and a half. And we're still good. They're a lot thinner on the bottom, so I don't know how I feel about that. The um, LA Color ones felt stronger on my nails, but these these are okay. They're, they're working, and they're shorter, quite a bit shorter, so I don't know. I haven't fully decided, but for now they're working, and they look nice. They're, they look better than no nails. So, and then I got some more makeup in this bag. So, um, I found... Some more Remy Rose. I had gotten the gloss, you know, the, the lip balm, the, the tinted lip balm, and I really liked it, so I wanted to try some of her other products. So I got this one. It's the Lip Gloss in Daisy. So it looks like just a really light pink color to try out. And then I got this Liquid Lipstick in Eevee. I keep telling myself to try some darker colors, and so I grabbed this one because I thought it was really pretty. And so we're gonna try those. And then I found some hard candy in a color that I don't know if I'll wear, but it's possible. So it's the one that has the lip liner and lipstick all in one. This one is called Dragon Fruit 1530. So it's a really pretty bright pink color. And so it's kind of like a bright pink slash magenta-y type color. We're gonna try this out. I don't know, it's gonna be a brave day for me because it's a lot brighter than I typically try, but 
for fun and then I picked up an extra because I probably won't wear a ton of it so that one would be for a giveaway because I feel like that's not a color I see a lot but it might be out there I'm not sure done with that one all right next bag speaking of the toothpaste I grabbed my son he likes the minty toothpaste and I like it when I could get these with the 25% free more or whatever so it's got the five five ounces and it's the cavity protection for him so those are what he likes and I will put them away not on the, on the counter where things will get thrown away for his little stash I don't know if the other ones are in here. I did grab a couple school supplies because I'm working through the school supply list for the kids. And Lorelai needed a set of Sharpies, black, and so I just grabbed the two Sharpies. I'm not sure if it's the best, best deal, but I don't think a dollar each is a terrible deal. So I grabbed the two of those. I grabbed some water bottles my last trip to Dollar Tree, and these are some of the ones I had wanted to find because they are technically clear because you can see through them, but they're that pretty iridescent. And so I wanted these on hand as well. And so I grabbed the two of them because that store had a whole bunch of this, this pretty colored water bottle. In their party section, I found this box. It's kind of got that mermaid scale print on the top and then like a honeycomb kind of print on the bottom in the blue end, kind of the mint green. I thought it was really pretty. It doesn't have the size on here. It says gift box. And then you open it. There's nothing inside. It's just blue, but it's just a pretty little gift box. And Lorelai's birthday is coming up, and so I thought this would be a fun way, one, to wrap a gift for her. But she is a, a pack rat of things, and so I thought maybe this would be a pretty box she can also use in her room to store some stuff just to, you know, out of sight, and we don't have to see it, and it'll just be in this box. So that was kind of my thought with this. So it kind of have double duty with it. Um, again, some school supplies. I got this gigantic glue stick, which I think a dollar for the big glue stick seems like a good deal, whereas the two glue sticks I had hauled previously for a dollar, I don't think is a good deal. I think you can get those for like 50 cents now elsewhere. But this one I seem like a good deal with a really big Anvil, no, Avery, which is also a name brand. So I grabbed that for Braxton because his list calls for glue sticks. On his list as well, he needed a binder and it specified a one inch black binder and so I grabbed this one they have the ones that are just plain they have no plastic and then they have the ones that have the plastic so this one does have the pockets on the inside right here they're not very like super sturdy but they're there and then it has this liner too so that if they want to put something into it they can and to go along with that they asked for I think it was five tab dividers this comes in a set of ten and it's two of each color so he can just take the five, use them for whatever he needs for that class, and then we'll have the five extra for, for whatever is needed. So I got those for him. And then looking at the school supplies, I found this. It is by Scholar New York, but it does say Greenbrier, so it's a Dollar Tree brand, a 10 pocket organizer. So it's got the spirals here on the side, and then it opens, I mean, kind of like a book, but you have these tabs that you can mark so you can get to the right area. And then it's got like the folders. And so I thought this was really cool to like stay organized. So I've been throwing all my receipts, all every receipt I have just in a drawer. So they're a hot mess right now. So I thought I could label this, put in my receipts. I can just do envelopes or find a way to keep the receipts organized and then stick them in the files that way. And then that way it's just a little more organized. But I thought that that was just a really neat deal. Or if one of the kids needed it for a school supply, you know, we have it on hand for that. And this came in like a navy blue and the black. So I thought that that was super cool. I grabbed it. And then I mentioned on numerous pages that we are going to Florida next week. I'm really excited. And there are grocery stores nearby where we're going, but I figured I would take this with me and have it on hand just in case. They have a Keurig in the room that we're staying in. We've got an Airbnb and it has a Keurig. And so I got this creamer. It is self shelf stable refrigerate after opening and for best quality use within 14 days I don't see a date just offhand without like searching best before October of 2021 and so I thought that would just be good to have on hand since I can take it it doesn't have to be refrigerated on the way I'll pack it in my luggage I'll reach for this bag then because to go along with that since there is a Keurig there I grabbed these coffees 
I got this donut blend and the French vanilla for the K-cup. And I thought, you know, why not? They're easy, they're small. This is eight days worth of coffee, just if I have one per morning, and sometimes I have two, but it'll be busy. So this should be enough to get me through. I might grab one more just in case, you know, I'm wanting a little more coffee, but you know, for $3, I have a daily coffee while I'm there. I thought that that was a really good deal. So I grabbed those. Talking about our trip, I got some candy for the airplane. My husband is notorious for wanting to snack while we're on the plane. And so I figure instead of buying them at the airport, which are ridiculously expensive, we could just take them along with us. So I got these original Gummy Fun Mix, and this says Gummy Party. And this one is Tropical Fish Party. And so those both looked really yummy. And then I know I got another one. Yep. I got the Mamba's Tropics. Um, I picked those up because we're going to Florida, so it just kind of seemed fitting, right, to get some tropical candy. And then I got the Swedish Fish Tails, two flavors in one. So it's like blue raspberry and strawberry, raspberry mango, and watermelon pineapple. So. I got those for the airplane. I figured it's just a lot more cost effective to, to buy them at Dollar Tree and bring them. For the boys, I thought I'd probably put this away for Christmas. We'll see because I'm terrible about wanting to give stuff. But I thought these were adorable. They're little dart boards. And they got the Velcro darts and balls to go with the Target. And they're just really lightweight. I thought maybe a command strip can hold these on the wall. Or they have a little hanger, but it looks like it's on the wrong side. So this one has a hanger right here. Okay, that one's right, so it's on the top. And this one's wrong, it's on the bottom. Hmm. All right, so if you buy these, pay attention, because this one, if I hang it by the hanger, it is upside down. So that is just silly. So pay attention if you decide to pick these up. Look where the hanger is if you plan to use the hanger to hang them. Because uh, it might be upside down Target, which would just be so silly. But so I got that for both the boys, potentially for Christmas. Like I said, we'll see, because I'm terrible about that. I'm making a gift basket for my upcoming niece. I'm really excited to meet her. And I saw this little bow. Oh my goodness. That one is so cute. It's kind of like a. Is it Siobhan? Sha. Sha. Oh, what is the name of that material? I don't know. I can't think of it. Just that really lightweight, pretty material. Shh, shh. I don't know. It's not tool. It's the other one that's really just lightweight. So I got that. I thought that one was really cute. Her name is going to be Daisy, and I thought this was cute. I don't think it's necessarily a daisy, but it's just a really big flower. And so I was going to put that in her gift basket because adorable. I grabbed in the hair section because I was there this really cute hair tie. It's from the um, Jewel, Sincerely Jewels by Scunchy. I just thought it was really cute. It's got that clip that kind of bounces like that and then snaps in. So it's not the alligator clip. It's the, I feel like a little bit more secure. Oops. So I got that. And then here's the other toothpaste I got. So I got the sloth and the unicorn and a dinosaur. And I was informed that they found the llama one still upstairs. So he did keep one thing of toothpaste. So I let the llama one stay and then I grabbed those three. And then just because I am a girl, I pick these up at Dollar Tree, the always thin, you know, you know, that stuff. Um, let's see, where to go next? A few more bags. I've seen this one being hauled and I have been watching for it to show up in my stores. It's the first time I've seen the pink one. So it's the Tol Ellie's Totally Awesome All-Purpose Cleaner and Degreaser and Spot Remover. It's Cherry Blossom Scent. So this says you can use it basically everywhere. Household, bathroom, kitchen. So it says you can clean it for appliances, tubs, shower stalls, sinks, toilets, walls, trash cans, and a whole lot more. So it's really just that all-purpose, all-around-the-house cleaner. I like the color. Pink's my favorite color. I thought Cherry Blossom might smell good. It looks kind of like that Method brand from Target. So I thought I'd give that one a try. My best friend's son is having a birthday this weekend and he loves cars, like loves cars. And this is the first time I've seen these in the store. 
and I was really excited. I thought like how perfect. I've seen them be hauled, but I haven't seen them in the store. So I grabbed all four, but let me show them because I can't hold them all at once. I got this green one. It's a green convertible car. These do say that they're 18 months and up. He's turning four, but he loves cars, and this is just an add-on to his other gift. So I grabbed that. I thought that that was too darn cute. Then the green one, it has a number one on the door, and it's got the, the not the convertible, the, the top, the top of the car. It's got a car topper. And then we got the red one. It says number one on the top. And it's got the car topper as well. That's the front, super cute. And then the orange one, also a convertible. And then that one says number one. So I got him the set of four. Hopefully he likes them. Um, he's four, he likes to drive around all his cars. So hopefully. I just thought they were really cute. I wanted someone to buy them for because I loved them so much. And the toy section, I picked this up probably for Eric. It is like a, it's not a steamroller. My husband will correct me if I say that because they don't use steam. So I don't remember the real name of it, roller or something or other. But they don't use steam, so it's not a steamroller. He corrects any of us that say that. Um, so it's a roller, heavy duty construction thingy. So I thought that was really cute, fun to build. And then I found one of my big wish list items for hard candy. And I looked on the aisles here. I found the one lipstick that I already showed, the pinks. And then um, I was up at the register, and I forget that this particular store likes to put their stuff, a lot of it, like in baskets at the register. And so I was like, man, they don't really have hardly anything. And then I get up to the register, and they had the plumping serum. And this has been on my wish list. I have been searching for it. I haven't been able to find it. And I finally found the plumping serum from Hard Candy. It's the Volumizing Lip Gloss. The color is Nude Beach. Nude Beach. The number is $13.95. It's just got that pretty shimmer in it. And I love the packaging of these. I think they are beautiful. I honestly want to try it. I have some of the other, the, the sorbet, the sherbet, sorbet, matte, no, not fully matte, the semi-matte lip gloss on. But we're going to try this. It smells really good. It smells sweet. Kind of like, I don't know, cotton candy. Mm. I don't feel anything yet. Let me know if you I magically watch my lips get plumper. I'll let you know if I feel anything. Um, and then while I was up there too in their baskets, they had the Glitterazzi Press and Play Glitter Reveal Lip Color. color. I haven't been able to find this anywhere yet either. And this one is in 1450 Dazzle. And so I'm excited to try that out. So you put it on and it looks like not super glittery, but then supposedly you... You kind of rub it together and the matte color turns into a sparkly um, color. So it says, just apply, let dry, press, and play. Your lips will glimmer, feel comfortable, and sparkle for hours. So we'll try that one out later on. I'm getting a little bit of a warming effect going on. All right, I don't know where to go next. We will do this. This one was a huge wish list item, huge. I didn't know if I was going to find it. I had no idea, and I did. I bought six. They had a lot. If you go to my Instagram, so it's linked down below, I took a picture of the display of how many they had of these, and I actually took the picture after I picked up my six. And go there and look at all the items I didn't pick up, because the store was awesome when I went shopping. So I'll get that posted of like the store as I walked through it and the things I found and saw. But they had so many of these. So they have, ooh, yeah, I got the warming tingle going on my lips. So they have them in both colors. So they have the red lid with the blue bottom or the bl blue top with the red bottom. I was actually, I watched Jenny from Jenny Mel Melwin um, haul these. I watched her haul yesterday. I think it was a little bit late that I watched her haul. And someone in the comments said they tried to flip flop the lids and it didn't work. So they, they didn't fit together because that was kind of my thought was, sorry about that. Flip flop the lids and then you have all blue and all red. And it was after after watching that and they said that they and the comments said it didn't work I'm curious so sorry I'm gonna take just a minute so that's the inside it's got the four compartments 
Sorry, I'm being so loud. The inside of that one, four compartments. All right, let's see. So I got the blue lid. Oh yeah, no, they don't. They, no. Hmm. I mean, they fit, but it's, I mean, probably good enough. So now I got a blue and blue. Let's try the red. This is a little bit of a struggle. Well, that one, it's like the shape's off or something. Hmm. I mean, maybe if I play with the ones that I have and see. Because, you know, that's not working at all. But so I thought that was adorable. So they have it where you can play at the top. It's got like the, the Lego kind of dots. And then the compartments to store the stuff. It says it's compatible with all the name brand bricks. And like I said, I picked up six of them. I have two boys in the house and a, a girl who all love to play Legos. And so I thought of them. I wish they had some more girly colors. I also saw where people spray painted them. But I worry that with spray paint something that gets played a lot would chip really easily so I'm not sure but I know the two boys would really like these so I got it for them and then I was also just thinking about you know gifts coming up because Christmas is around the corner I know it's July and it just seems silly to say that but like fall's coming out and then Christmas and so we're we're getting there and it's sad all right well since I pulled it out of the bag and you saw it I found the truck um, calendars I hauled one my last haul. It was the wreath one because I like one of the pictures on that, the 4th of July picture. And so I grabbed two of the trucks. They actually had quite a few. And then if you haven't seen, but I know you have because this is huge. This is what the months look like. Also really, really cute. My house is not farmhouse themed. So really I picked this up with the thought process of being a giveaway. So that that way as people aren't finding them because I watched Sway on the 99 last night and he was doing a walkthrough and he said over in his area he's in california they haven't been able to find any of these yet and so i'm thinking that as time kind of progresses if people still aren't finding them i could hopefully help somebody out and get them one of these because it's not my style but they have them at my stores so that's my thought and some of the pictures honestly i might keep one and frame some of the pictures but we'll see because not fully my style but some of the stuff is really cute um, we are going to Florida, and it's a longer flight than I'm used to, and so I usually go to Las Vegas. From us, that's an hour and a half. Florida, both of my flights have some sort of layover. One of them, we stay on the plane. The other one, we get off and have to board a new plane. So they're longer flights. And so I grab some just books of word searches or word finds. And so between my husband and I, we have something to do. So this one is by Crown, Crown Jewels. It is the woman-owned company. It's just pretty on the outside. It's got like the pretty pages in here of the word finds. And then this one's just the Greenbrier ones. They had several of them with the different numbers, so this is 202. And there was a bunch of just different ones. It's actually really funny to me that this says Greenbrier on the back. So it's a Dollar Tree brand, but it says $3.95 is the regular price. This Greenbrier, oh, I guess they're connected to Family Dollar. So maybe, hmm, interesting to me. So um, this one has kind of bigger print, but also another word find. And I know my husband likes word finds. So I got those for the airplane because, you know, sometimes it's just nice to have things on hand to keep you busy. I went through the party section and this store had an awesome party section. I did take pictures. It'll be on my Instagram of some of the awesome things I found there. But I did pick both of these up. So my daughter is having a cute foods birthday party theme party at the end of August and I thought I would grab these because they're both foods and they're cute and I might try to put some like googly eyes or something on them because all her cute foods have like little eyes and smiles and so I might try to you know make these cute foods so I thought those were really cute but look at my Instagram to see the other really fun birthday party stuff they had like they're really pretty like rainbows and stuff I didn't need but I just wanted to buy them so bad so I took pictures of them to document it and I left them there because they were cute, but I didn't need them. So I picked this up because I love it. I don't need any notebooks. I honestly need absolutely no notebooks. But this is the print of the summer that I have loved. And have you seen this print in many of my hauls? So I had to have it. It has 80 sheets. They're lined. 
If you watch Linderella Loves the Dollar Tree, she actually hauled this yesterday and I commented that, oh my gosh, I had picked it up yesterday when I was at the store. So um, I love this one. I think it is adorable. Feminine stuff. These are some moist wipes. They say that they are flushable. The other ones didn't. I said I'm grabbing those because we're going to Florida on a trip and it's just nice to have something on hand just in case you need it. I have not given the shirts a lot of look over the times that they have them, but now I have been looking more and more. So this is an extra small adult, but I thought for my son, he is in like the large kids and this is a really soft and cute t-shirt. So I thought he might like this to be able to just wear with his like, you know, khaki shorts for a dollar. That's such a good deal. I'm looking for a shirt for me. I want to Cricut my own shirt. This is Free Britney because Free Britney, I'm a big Britney Spears fan. And um, I don't want anyone else to profit off of, you know, me buying it because it's not going to her. So I figured I'd make my own, but still, you know, stand for the cause. So but I haven't found one yet that I like. I found a purple one yesterday, but it was too purple. So it didn't really work. I found this just kind of really randomly. It says best day ever. And it's got a bunch of cute little wedding cards. It's in rose gold. So my husband and I did get married. In, in, we got married in Las Vegas. We did have some friends and family there, but I still want to have like the nice big like wedding that everyone could be a part of, including our children, because our children were not in Las Vegas with us. And so I pick up any wedding stuff that I find that just will match once that happens. And then I'll have a bunch of my stuff on hand ready to go. I grabbed these two sunglass cases. I did a whole haul of these because I was so excited. They are one of my big wish list items. I have not decided yet. I told myself I don't need them, so I picked them up for giveaways. And then I still look at them and I still love them because this one is the fruit with the pineapple. And I love pineapples. This one's just like a really summery kind of stamp vibe. It says I'm feeling the tropical vibes. It's got the flamingo, some tropical birds, tropical drinks on this side. So potentially these might be in a giveaway if someone says that they really want or are looking for them. And I might also keep them, we will see. And then lastly, yep, I got ooh, hair and my lip gloss, some sticker books, well stickers. So this one I thought was really cute. I don't know if I've seen this one before. It is just animals and all the kids love animals but this one seems probably more like for my daughter because they're just really girly we got all these like kind of poofy with some texture on them these ones have glitter they're smaller they're like little animals turned into food so there's like a snake and an ice cream cone a cat taco a puppy and a teacup super cute and then these ones are like super shiny shiny animals Open oh, then hearts and paw prints. I think that's it. Yep. So there's 276 pieces. I mean, they're all pretty small, but they're freaking adorable. And then I got these car ones because just finding good things for the boys is a little bit more difficult. And so my older son will probably like these because all of a sudden he thinks he knows everything about fast cars. He doesn't, but we'll let him think. And these are cute. So that is everything for my haul today. I was so excited. I'm sorry it ended up being a little bit longer. But I was so excited to just get them straight out of the bags and showing you because they were just stuff I was really excited about. So many things I had been looking for and I found. So that's it for today. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Please like this video and leave a comment. I love all your support. I appreciate each and every one of you and I cannot wait to see you until next time. Awesome. Bye.